everyone. Welcome back this week. Good to see you. You know, it's a beautiful day in Florida. I'm getting a little bit of a spring fever. I hope I'm not, you know, jinxing it here, but I do have my flip-flops on. I got shorts on. I'm ready to go to the beach, actually. And so we have a different view here from my front porch today. Kind of like it. And one thing I wanted to talk to you about today is the first time I came to Casadega. It's so funny because when I first came here, wow, I don't know how many years ago, maybe 15, 16, 17 years ago, maybe even longer, wow, uh, brought my daughter with me and we drove right past the town. And I'm like, wow, I must have blinked my eye. Too cute, right? So we came back and we walked down to Spirit Pond and hung out there for a minute. And the church service was going on and I didn't feel comfortable walking in while it was still going on. And so we walked up and the bookstore finally opened and we went to the afternoon message service. But I have to tell you, I did come back for the Sunday service. And I got to tell you, when I walked into the Kobe Memorial Temple, I knew I was home. I got to love that Sunday service there. And it's very unique. I mean, the first, there's like three parts to the service. The first part um, is a, a human guided meditation or a guided healing meditation, however you want to say it. And people can get up and have some hands-on healing in the back of the church. Then we have the lecture. And the lecturer comes back if they're a medium to give spirit greetings to several people in the congregation to prove the continuity of life. And so if the speaker is not a medium, the pastor will appoint somebody to do the messages for that service. It's always something we do. And, I, and so this Sunday, I am the speaker. I am speaking about death actually and it's going to be really relatable to everyone and I think something I think everyone should get something from it it's about a 15 20 minute talk and um, and so yep that's this Sunday I'm gonna put the links on our YouTube links for Casadega spiritualist camp and the uh, Facebook link below um, in case you want to join us on Sunday at 1030. And so that said, you know what? If you haven't come to Casadega, you got to make it a point. It is beautiful energy. It is nice, quiet. It is Mayberry. There's no doubt about it. And so today I'm doing a card draw. The Crystal Alley Cards. The Crystal Path to Self-Knowledge by Nasha Ashen. Sounds good to me. Here's the book right here. There you go. And you know what? It only took me about two minutes and one card came out. And I gotta wonder if I had it before. I haven't used this book that often. But um, I looked it up and couldn't find it. And then I decided it didn't really matter because it's a card for today. And it is Magic Labyrinthite. Labyrinthite. Labradorite, Labradorite, there we go, <laughs> and here it is, all right, and the message I'm going to read today, when Labrad, oh, I'm not going to be able to say this word, too funny, when Labradorite appears, <laughs> when the crystal, there we go, appears as your alley, alley, it is calling you on a journey inward. The great mystery is about to open before you, and it is time to own what it is you, is you have created. Take a look at the beauty of your life and your spiritual path. Even those things that have seemed dark and dreary are now revealed to contain bits of light, like the energy of the rainbow. The crystal is here to remind you of the magic that it that is at work in your life. The subtle currents of energy that are shaping your present and future 
have created something wonderful for you that is just about to be revealed. Magic is becoming visible to you now. It is like a shiny, shimmering dew that illuminates all it touches. Take a look at the paths and choices before you, which seem to sparkle or shimmer in your mind's eye. That may be the path of magic leading you to your dreams. I like it. The chakra is the sixth. The affirmation. I am open to the mystery of the universe and all of the gifts it holds for me. Yeah. Very true. And so I hope to see you on Sunday. And I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Take care and have a great week. Bye.